the Dish is all presented by Stone Academy. If you have some diamonds you want to show off, today would be an excellent day to do that. That's because it's National Jewelry Day. Jewelers hope you can use the occasion not to show off your bling, but also to go buy something special for that special someone in your life. And talk about staying power, 93-year-old Queen Elizabeth is now the fourth longest reigning monarch in history. The queen has been in power for 68 years and 34 days, but who's counting? She still got, has a way to go to the top spot of all time. That's King Louis XIV of France. He ruled the country for more than 72 years. Oh, forget the Grammy Awards. One pop star now has an insect named after her. This is Kukui Gaga. The bug called K Gaga for short is a type of tree hopper. The person who discovered it named the insect after the singer because of the crazy fashion sense. Lady Gaga has yet to comment on her new namesake. All right, we'll move over. Chick fil A, Popeyes, and Wendy's. A popular convenience store says it's entering the chicken craze. This week, 7 Eleven announced that it's opened a chicken and biscuit restaurant in New York. The Raised the Roost in store restaurant includes one on its menu chicken sandwiches, wings, and fried chicken tenders. The Raised the Roost also offers signature sauces and breakfast sandwiches. The food is both made to order and you have grab and go options. 7 Eleven says it put the restaurant in one of its Evolution stores. Now, an Evolution store, they are designed to offer different specialty products to their customers. 7 Eleven says it expects to expand the number of Evolution stores across the country this year. And while we're on the topic of fast food, Taco Bell wants to make burritos your breakfast of choice. The chain is now selling a new line of burritos. One features egg, sausage, and nacho cheese sauce. Another one includes a three-cheese blend, hash browns, and bacon or sausage. Taco Bell has been doing breakfast since 2014. The expanded menu is a clear sign the chain is looking up to its morning game. Well, The Bachelor and some breaking news overnight after that dramatic finale on Tuesday. Pilot Pete and Madison, well, they're not going to make it. They already broke up. BBC's Laura Spencer has the story. It was a dramatic declaration of love. Madison showing up in L.A. after Pete broke off his engagement with Hannah Ann. Like, I know that I like, still just have so much, so much love in my heart for you. So what do we do? At the finale, Chris asking the question on everyone's mind. Are you in love with Madison? Yeah. Madison then joining Pete on live TV Tuesday night, but one significant person not in their corner? Pete's mom, Barb. We want the best for him, and I have to tell you, completely two different people that one will, was willing to compromise, the other one has not. And to me, to me, you need both to compromise. This is my journey too, and this isn't just Peter choosing me, this is me choosing Peter. He's and... gonna have to fail to succeed. I am telling you that I love Madison, and that should be enough. And overnight, Pete sharing, the two had broken things off just three days after the finale, writing, Maddie and I have mutually decided to not pursue our relationship any further. Believe me, this was not easy for either of us to be okay with. But after a lot of honest conversation, we have agreed that this is what makes most sense for the two of us. The love and respect I have for Maddie will continue to endure. And overnight, Madison writing, I will always love and respect him. I am convinced our paths were meant to cross, and we are both better, because they did.